His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will leave tomorrow for Saudi Arabia at an invitation by custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty the King is leading a Bahraini delegation to a summit between the GCC leaders and the US President Barack Obama in Riyadh on April 21st. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited the BDF today. Upon arrival, he was received by BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Defence Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalhama, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dayab bin Sakar Al Noemi, and senior officers. His Majesty praised the role of the officers, their patriotic stances, and their readiness to combat terrorist groups that target on-duty security patrolmen. He expressed confidence in BDF officers and their ability to perform the national duty both inside and outside Bahrain. His Majesty the King consoled the Interior Ministry and the bereaved family of Mohammed Tanweer, who sacrificed his life in assuming his national duty, praying to God to rest his soul in eternal peace and for the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty hailed the Arab and international condemnation of this terrorist attack and lauded the brotherly ties between Bahrainis and their keenness to enhance national unity. He also praised the cooperation between the BDF, Interior Ministry and the National Guard in assuming their national duty to protect Bahrain, its people and its unity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabiya Palace a number of senior state officials in addition to the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, that's the BCCI, Khalid Abdurrahman Al Moyed. During the meeting, His Royal Highness hailed the remarkable role of the BCCI in enhancing the economic and trade fields in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness called on the private sector to support the government's plan regarding enhancing economic and investment cooperation with different countries as to promote the Kingdom as an international investment hub. His Royal Highness discussed with the attendees a number of domestic issues in which he affirmed Bahrain's society's cohesion and unity against those who aim to destabilize the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed the government's keenness to meet citizens' needs and to develop their living standards, noting the government's efforts of adopting initiatives that would achieve more development for the Kingdom and its people. BCCI chairman expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his constant support and for his efforts regarding overcoming all economic challenges that face the chamber. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today Chairman of the Executive Council of the Bahrain Free Labour Unions Federation, Yaqub Yusuf Mohammed. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to every Bahraini worker who dedicated his time and efforts for the benefits of the Kingdom and its prosperity, stressing the government's full support to the workers. He praised the cooperation and coordination of the labour unions and their efforts to achieve more gains and accomplishments for Bahrain inside and outside the country. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to offer wider job opportunities in spite of the economic challenges in order to serve citizens and provide the suitable jobs for them. He stressed the need for more awareness and unified words and efforts between Bahrainis against those who aim to foil Bahrain Union's achievements. He lauded the role of the free labour unions in enhancing the labour movement in Bahrain. 
President of Bahrain Free Labour Unions Federation and members expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness's continuous support, affirming the keenness and the efforts of the government to achieve more gains for Bahraini workers. Minister of Education Dr. Majid al Nuemi headed the Kingdom's delegation in the 18th Gulf Cooperation Council Higher Education and Scientific Research Minister's meeting in Riyadh. The ministers affirmed the importance of implementing the custodian of the two holy mosques' vision of enhancing GCC cooperation in the educational and scientific research fields. They also hailed the remarkable efforts of GCC institutions and universities regarding spreading the culture of voluntary work in higher education institutions. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al-Aradi, chaired the Council's weekly session today in which the Council issued a supportive statement to the BDF regarding its readiness to stand against terrorist groups who have repeatedly attacked security personnel and policemen in the line of duty. The Council approved a report of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee regarding amending some law provisions of the Code of Criminal Procedure. It also approved reports of the parliamentary committees and referred it to the government for further studies. The wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, deputised the SCW Vice President, Dr. Sheikha Mariam bint Hassan Al Khalifa, to inaugurate an international conference themed Women and Society, hosted by the Royal University for Women. SCW's Secretary General delivered a speech in which she hailed the Kingdom's strides in the field of women's empowerment, highlighting Bahraini women's ability to achieve higher positions. Bahrain's new brand and strategy for developing the tourism and hospitality sector was revealed today with an international marketing initiative set to be launched imminently. Daniel De Porto has more on the story. Bahrain's new brand strategy for stimulating tourism and hospitality is based on the four pillars of awareness, attractions, access and accommodation. The tourists being targeted are families from Saudi Arabia and the wider GCC, hoping to enjoy Bahrain's natural amenities and signature hospitality, and international business travellers seeking first-class exhibition and conference facilities. Detailed research and consultation with stakeholders was undertaken in formulating the initiative's identity and key performance indicators. We're looking at development of tourism as a, a long-term initiative and there are a number of things that we're actually focused on, so developments of hotels, cruise lines, um, flights into Bahrain and all of this can actually be measured by the numbers that actually come in and then also by the number of visitors. But what we're also looking at is, for instance, um, the increase of um, the contribution to GDP. 
Over the next three years, we plan to increase the contribution of the tourism sector to our GDP uh, almost double. Uh, in 2015, the tourism sector contributed 3.6% of our GDP. We aim to achieve 6.6% by the end of 2018. Uh, in terms of numbers, we are looking at increasing uh, the visitors of Bahrain from 11 million to about 15 million in those three years and we aim to increase the average spending of the visitors from around 120 dinars per visitor per day to 138. Uh, also a very important indicator for us is the average night spent in Bahrain. Uh, 2015 registered the first uh, year where we exceeded two, av two nights average stay. Uh, that gives us a new uh, impetus because we're now beyond the destination weekend. Uh, the aim is to get closer to three nights uh, average stay. Coordination amongst ministries and municipalities, as well as private sector engagement, will be key in rolling out plans within Bahrain, which include enhancing hard and soft infrastructure, enhancing beaches and seafront accommodations, and promoting local training and involvement in hospitality and culinary industries. Meanwhile, a comprehensive regional marketing campaign is set to be launched and international offices promoting Bahrain as a business destination will be operated in the UK, France, Germany, Russia, India and China. We're trying uh, to promote Bahrain uh, at three fundamental factors. Uh, the first factor is Bahrain is a rich history is rich in its culture and history uh, and the second part of it is that the main asset of Bahrain is its human capital the people of Bahrain are friendly welcoming uh, uh, and uh, the third factor is um, although we are rich in history we have a 4,005 year old civilization yet we are very much improved uh, economically we're a modern country our Bahrain your Bahrain is a unified message that will go out to the region and the world to attract tourists to Bahrain for the short term, the medium term and the long term. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. Good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,126.9 points. That's an increase of 0.35 points above yesterday's closing level. The rise was in the industrial and commercial banking sectors, with the latter representing the majority 86% of total share value traded. In total, 59 transactions took place today, composed of 3,213,521 shares, worth 275,844 Bahraini dinars.